have two different devices connected here and it switches between those two. That's really all you need for an HDMI switchers. Boring device, right? Well, let's think again. This right here is the HDMI two-way switcher. And there's some really cool things about this that I wanna show you guys here. So let's get right into it. Inside the box here, very, very simple device. I love the compact size of it and it's simple and straightforward. Inside the packaging here, you will find a little device that looks just like this. Oh, very nice. Here it is, the Iano 8K HDMI switcher. So we have two HDMI ports right here and we have one more HDMI port right here and then a power port right here. So what else we find here in the box is the power cable. That does not include the five volt power brick, so you will need to have some type of power source for this, but this does come with the cable to give the device power, and that is how you can support up to 8K in the switching capabilities. So it does include the cable, but you will need to provide your own power brick. Now, this is the really cool feature about this HDMI switcher. One, the sleek design. I love this kind of space grayish looking, so great if you're using Mac or Apple products, but a lot of other laptops and computers use the same finish. Very nice aluminum feel there and gold HDMI ports there. The button on top here is a simple switch button. So you have two different devices connected here and it switches between those two. That's really all you need for an HDMI switcher. Other devices get pretty fancy with a lot of different buttons and cycling through them and some are three and four HDMI splitters. But the really cool feature about this one is that it is a two-way HDMI splitter. That means that it effectively just switches between these two sources, but the fact that it's two-way means that you can have two devices, say a PC or a gaming system on one side and then a media player or another computer on the other side, or maybe you have your work computer and your personal computer because you're working from home, both coming into this and outputting to a single display. Or in the reverse, you could have one input source, say a PC or an Apple computer, and then have two different displays that you wanna put it to. Maybe you have a smaller monitor on your desk that you wanna output it to here, and this one might be hooked up to a larger TV or even a projector. That's what's really cool about this device is that it is a two-way switcher, and you simply just click this button to switch between which device you either wanna output to or which device you wanna switch the input from. So single display out, two input devices here, or two displays out here and single input over here. Hopefully I haven't confused you there and that makes sense. In fact, why don't we demonstrate this for you? Okay, I'm gonna show you how this all works. I've got the PS5 sitting right here and then I've actually got a Apple TV sitting right here and I'm gonna switch between these two input devices. So I have the PS5 plugged into one of the HDMI ports here and the Apple TV plugged into the other one. So the two inputs are coming in on one side of the HDMI switcher here and then the monitor right here is connected to this HDMI cable here. So notice that the blue light is on one side, that is the PS5 five sides. So currently, oh, look at there, I'm downloading the new Gran Turismo 7. Super excited to play that game. So that's downloading on my, on my PS5 right now. But I can just push this button right here and switch on over to Apple TV. So that the Apple TV connected right here. So while Gran Turismo 7 is downloading over here, it's like 96 gigabytes, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over my display here to Apple TV and pull up some YouTube videos while I'm watching. Oh look, no network connection because I actually haven't set up this Apple TV yet. But you guys get the picture here that I can watch Apple TV on this input while this other device is doing something else, all while only utilizing one display. Push it again, gotta check on my status of the download of the PS5 here, and it is still just queued for download, so we're gonna go ahead and just click continue on that, and there you go, you can see, pretty simple and straightforward. Now a couple of things to keep in mind here, notice I don't have the power cable plugged in right now. So this device will operate as 
a switcher without any power at all. So you don't even need to plug this into power because it's effectively just taking one HDMI signal and connecting it to the other HDMI cable and passing that signal through up to 8K 30 frames per second is what this device will support and it is backwards compatible. So if you have lower resolutions, that's gonna be no problem as well. So this is only passing through one HDMI signal at a time. Now in reverse, and I'm gonna show you here just in a second how that's gonna work. If you're bringing one HDMI signal into the switcher and then using it more like a splitter and you're actually having that one signal going out to two different output devices then you are going to you know two different displays then you are going to need to plug this in they recommend plugging this in just so you don't suffer any hdmi or visual loss when you're using this as a splitter rather than a switcher so let's get this reconfigured here and i'm going to plug it in so that we have two displays coming off of one output device Okay, so I've switched these around. Now the PS5 is plugged into the single input port here. And then I've got the uh, larger monitor connected to this gold HDMI cable. And then this small little field monitor that I had here uh, connected to the secondary one. So now this is acting as a switcher between these two monitors with one device input. So if I click this button here and it switches over to this HDMI cable output, this monitor now will detect that and turn on and voila, there you see the PS5 output to this device and this one has now turned off. Now notice again, I still have not been plugged, you, I have not plugged this into any kind of power. And that's just because these are just regular HD monitors. We're not running 4K or 8K or anything. So if you get in those higher resolutions, you're going to want to plug the power into this HDMI switcher. One other note here is that in the bottom of the box, I did find this little rubber uh, pad thing. Uh, this I believe goes uh, on the bottom of the device right like so and that will help it from sliding around if you just have this sitting on your desktop uh, but it's it's pretty lightweight and when you've got hdmi cables and stuff plugged into it it's it's not really going to sit flat unless your hdmi cables are not as thick and beefy as mine are so i would actually recommend either just you know 3m double sided tape this to your desk just to keep that down but it is nice that they include this little rubber thing uh to keep it from sliding around on your desk so let me demonstrate that again here if i push the button and switch inputs now the signal will appear over here and there you go it is appearing here on this field monitor instead of this larger monitor over there so pretty simple device it's uh worked very reliably here in my test that i've been running here i do have a place i'm going to use this for where i'm going to be building the ultimate gaming setup where i'm going to have this ps5 and a gaming pc set up with one really cool monitor and so I wanna set it up so that I can either game PC or I can game on PS5. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see where I'm going to set up a sit stand ultimate gaming desk with the PS5 and a gaming PC that I'm gonna build specifically for this. I'll be bringing that video out here shortly. So subscribe, I'll see you guys on the next video. I highly recommend this HDMI switcher. It's super multi-purpose with that two-way compatibility and being able to switch this back and forth from one monitor to another or device to device. See you guys on the next one.